Hey, hey, Brad here from Cask Strength, continuing Irish Month with some Redbreast 21. Come on, Brad's on a whiskey journey, come along and see. Brad's discovering whiskey, follow his odyssey. So yeah, today, Redbreast 21. Weirdly, the only whiskey so far that my wife has called, and I quote, drinkable. So there's that. So Redbreast 21, 20 year old, 21 year old Redbreast. How could you go wrong, right? Redbreast is amazing just in general. Though 21 year old Redbreast is going to be really nice. Exclusively uh, first fill sherry and bourbon uh, casks. And uh, what's the percentage on this again? 46, okay, that's fine. So 46%. Totally respectable. Just, oh, just on the nose already. It's just so, so nice. It's, it's, it's almost nutty in a weird, like not like peanuts, but like, like those crushed mixed nuts that you get, you know, with like a big tin of mixed nuts. It's sort of like that musty, nutty, kind of thing. Almost popcorn? I don't, pop, it's, it's not popcorn, it's, it's almost popcorn. What is that milk? On the palate, just buttery smooth, just a little bit of spice on the back end of the palate kind of as it goes down. Nice warm sensation, which is sort of odd for something as low as 46, like that you get the, the Kentucky hug, uh, so to speak, and not even a bourbon, which makes Kentucky hug sort of a weird preference, but you do. Just so, just smooth. Nice, very buttery, like clearly Irish. All of the the sweet buttered notes are there. You've got a lot of the, the sort of subtle sweetness from the sherry and the bourbon kind of mixed together with everything. But nothing is fighting. It's all very cohesive. Just like uh, like lemongrass a little bit on the nose now, but I've taken a sip. There's there's definitely more going on in here than my sad sad uh, palate can uh, can pull out individual notes from. But there there's there's fun things going on in this glass for sure. But whatever it is, it's, it's glorious. Just really good. Just like distracted now, just drinking this instead of paying attention to making the video. I'm gonna be really annoyed when this bottle disappears because it's a pain in the ass to get in an area. <laughs> That little bit of spice in the back end of the palate just really pulls it together for me in a really satisfying way. That's so nice. What would I rate it though? I think I, I, think I would rate this a damn good. That's a, that's a damn good whiskey. Yeah. Okay. Red Breast 21, damn good. Yeah, good to you. See you next time. Come on, Brad's on a whiskey journey. Come along and see. Brad's discovering whiskey. Follow his odyssey.